April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. Yeah, and for today's Revive and Thrive segment, we want to talk about the symptoms, early warning signs, and what people are doing to help those suffering from the disease. Joining us is Dr. Mark Sedrak, Department Chief of Neurosurgery and Neuroscience at Kaiser in Redwood City. Welcome, Dr. Sedrak. Thank you so much for taking the time this morning. Parkinson's isn't uncommon, but at its core, how can you describe the disease? Yeah, thank you for having me. So Parkinson's is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder. And what that means is that there are circuits inside the brain that degenerate. These circuits affect the body. They cause stiffness. They cause rigidity. Uh, they cause slowness of movement, or we call it bradykinesia, and they can cause tremor. And what's remarkable about the disorder is that it's different from patient to patient. If you look at the brain, the brain's consisting of about 100 billion neurons. And these neurons degenerate and, and these circuits are affected. And if you look at, uh, for example, the Milky Way galaxy, we're talking about 100 billion stars within the Milky Way galaxy. The same is confined uh, to the brain itself. In the United States, we have about a million patients who suffer from Parkinson's disease and about 90,000 are diagnosed every year. Wow, well, let's talk about some of the early signs and what are some important flags to note? Early signs uh, can be varied from patient to patient because these circuits really do degenerate differently. But sometimes patients can have difficulty smelling, they can have slowness and brighting. <laughs> they usually have symptoms on one side of the body. Sometimes it, it starts with uh, tremor. And when you have these uh, symptoms, uh, you, you should go see your doctor, you should be evaluated. Uh, within uh, Kaiser Permanente Northern California, we have a consortium of uh, many, many physicians, 10,000 physicians in total. And within this uh, group, we have a comprehensive movement disorders group, which would see and evaluate many patients uh, who have Parkinson's disease. There are other types of disorders that can mimic uh, Parkinson's disease, and it's important to be evaluated. Dr. Sedrak, how do you treat Parkinson's? I know that you mentioned some of the resources from Kaiser, but what are those resources to support the Parkinson's community? Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing is reaching out. If you have a family member, if you have uh, a friend, if you have a neighbor or a loved one who has Parkinson's disease, reach out to them. It's really important that they stay in motion. Uh, moving around, physical activity is so key uh, to the disease, and it could really slow the motor symptoms uh, related to Parkinson's disease. There are peer groups, there are support groups, and reach out to your community. Uh, there are various ways to be involved and uh, many, many available opportunities to donate for research and uh, understanding the disease is really key. Yeah, and sometimes having that support system can make the biggest difference. Thank you, Dr. Sidrak. We appreciate your time. Thank you.